Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you had a great day. I had a awesome day. Uh, appreciative and happy. I am humbled and truly blessed. Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I've seen another post basically of a man being hung in Atlanta, Georgia, I believe it is. That's probably the second or third one within a few months. Now, with that being said, they fail to realize people will start snapping. Like, when you put something under pressure, it will, you know, snap at you, burst, go off, set it off. Now, people fail to realize if we actually come together and fight together, stand together, how much we could accomplish. Look at our history. I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about human beings and whole. Black people, when we actually stand together versus fighting against each other, we accomplish so much. We're forced to be reckoned with. Now, when we stand with others, now that right there is not comparable to anything at all. We could get so much done, so much accomplished. I mean, really set it off. It's crazy. So with that being said, we need to get it together. Come together, fight together, stand together. Unite as one. I don't care if you're black, yellow, green, orange, or pink. Stand together. Because regardless of what, there's some good officers because I've seen them, they take part in their community and help and they protect, they actually do what they love. They actually do what their uniform says they stand for, to honor and to protect. But it's horrible when you have a set of bad officers that make it bad, but the rest of the officers actually are good. There are good officers out there, and I, my, I, I feel for them, I honestly do that they have to be criticized as well because they are wearing a uniform that people, other people tainted with their BS and being abusive and killing people. Feel bad for them. Like for example, black people. Some black people act a damn fool. Yes, they do. Now check it. Not every black person act a fool, go out there robbing, stealing, killing people and doing all sorts of madness. Last from what I saw and heard and did research on, any human being, whether you're white, black, whatever you are, even if you're Puerto Rican, Haitian, Mexican, West Indian, whatever it may be, people all over the world, there's someone out there that does that madness. It's not just black folk. It's not just Mexicans. It's not just West Indians. It's not just you know, Spanish people, it's not, come on. But we automatically assume. Now, example, and you can't tell me you never did this. You're sitting down with a group of friends or family, and you're like, you know what? Hey, someone tell you a story, man, you won't believe this girl, blah, 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 so on and so forth. They did such and such. What? They did what? Let me guess. Were they white? Yeah, you know they were white. You know, everyone does that, and it's unfortunate. Me, I try my best not to assume anything, because you'll be surprised at a lot. <coughs> that being said, we need to come together, stand up. Because I don't care, like I said, if you're black, you're Latino, you're Asian, whatever you are, Police brutality is a no-no. Should not be tolerated. It is not accepted. So if you don't make a stand, it will happen to anyone. Not only black people, white people, Spanish people, whoever. It will happen. So if we don't put an end to it now and stand together, it will continue and it will just get worse. Then who will be ruling everything? bad cops. 
Now, if you're just one of those people that sit around all day doing nothing, you need to get up and do something. If you got access to the internet, computer, whatever, handle your business. Make, make signs. Put out information, literature. Educate a child. If you see kids on the street, what are you doing on the street? You're not doing anything positive? You ain't helping the elderly person cross that street? Take your behind home. Go read a damn book. Go help somebody. Go take care of somebody's garden. Go mow their lawn. Go do something useful. Don't be standing on no corners. Don't be harassing people. Don't wear your pants down to your ankles. Let's get it together. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Stupid little stuff that could be dealt with and taken care of, but people refuse to open their mouth and say something because they're scared. Stop being scared. Scared people get nowhere. All those people that invented things and accomplished stuff, they weren't they had fear, but they stood their ground to get things done. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, which one are you? Which one do you want to represent? You do your peaceful thing and then other people you have that will say, you know what, I'm tired. This ain't happening no more by any means necessary. We have to get through this. We have to stand together. Do things in a positive way. Don't be negative. Don't stoop to their level. We are better than that. We are a strong people. We are intelligent. Stop being lazy. Let's get things done. Let's do this. I know we can because I've seen it in history. Read in my, my history book, not his story, the history book of saying history on black people, the history on Spanish people, history on Asian people, or history on West Indian. You'll be amazed if you open up your eyes and go take the time to read up and read and see how much people have done together. It's crazy. Where are all the superstars and the, the rappers and the singers and all the actors and actresses and so on and entertainers point blank? Where are you? What are you standing for? While you there, you know, sipping on your, your vodkas and all this other stuff and smoking and drinking and having a blast. Oh, buy my album. Oh, do this. Come to my concert. No. No. Why don't you come and bring a concert in those places where people are hurting? Make a concert about peace, love, and respect. Make a concert about everyone uniting and coming together. Instead of, oh, this is my B and this is my hoe and this is my this and then my that. I'm tired of that. There's a lot of us that's tired of it. It's time to get it together. Our ancestors did not go through everything they went through for you or ignorant people to take it and just throw it all away. Get it together. Sick and tired of it. If we don't do something and we don't have the support of the so-called entertainers that's out there, then all you're really for is the money. Our money. only person I've seen so far that actually said something about the whole situation is a, a handful of people, which is sad. All those big mouth artists that play their big, bad, and bold, where are you now? Ain't no one seeing you. Ain't no one hearing a peep. You could hear a pin drop. Where are you? You ain't representing us. But you you good to go on an album or a record that goes to show how fake you are. And your stuff is not real. If you're real and you really about it, you need to stand up for your people, get your stuff together, say something, do something, make something, create something, bring people together. If you can't do that, then you ain't about nothing. Buying your album, whatever the heck you have, movie. I ain't buying nothing. You not out here for the the folk out here, the poor people, the the people that need your help. You're not saying anything or doing anything, making a stand. Man, you're trash to me. Want nothing to do with you. You're nothing but Hollywood. Ain't got time for that.
only have time for people that want to make a change and make a stand. You're here for what? What legacy you'll leave behind? Oh, albums? That's it? That's all you're going to have is albums? Mean nothing. With that being said, everyone get your stuff together. It's time to boot up and get ready. Because we have to make changes and we have to make sure this do not continue. So make sure you're ready. We're going to do something positive. We're going to make sure we stay positive. Not stooping to no levels. No ignorant levels. We're better than that. So I challenge entertainers, bring it. You quick fast talk about sex, weed, and drugs, and everything else, and making movies about this and that and all happy days, I challenge you to say something, stand up for something other than that. Let's see how much of you actually accept that challenge and do something. Only person I've seen doing something actually is Prince, and that's it. He's the only one that's hurting from this. He's the only one that feels on this. Oh, I'm sorry. The rest of you are too busy living your luxury lives to give a damn about the people who are suffering. But remember, majority of you used to be on this level as other people as well. Never forget where you came from.